All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today we are using them BES Monarchs because uh, you guys requested it. We are doing it. I mean, it's power, right? So, oh my God, he's got that one reasoning. Uh, uh, I guess eight. Like that number generator was too strong. What? Did, what was that? Oh, that that Viome deck. Like, okay, I have no idea how to duel against this deck, and I know nothing about this deck. <laughs> like, all right, so you reveal three. Go ahead and summon him. Cut, like, I, I know, I know of these cards. Like, I know that they're coming out, but I know I have no idea what they do. That like, goddamn, but he is, he's getting hella buffed, hella ripped. What did your trap card do? Because I know you revealed a trap card. God damn, I just take 3,000? Like, God damn, why did I take 3,000? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, wow, 4,600. This card is unaffected by the accurate effects of monsters whose original attack is that or less. Like, alright. Alright, alright. <laughs> what the fuck are we facing? Like, wow, I have no idea what this deck does how it functions or anything. All I know is that my opponent over here has busted out the fucking good shit and I'm just asking for an ass beating. <laughs> oh, I'm just asking for it, people. So I'll go ahead and play Twin Choices. I'll go ahead and pitch one of my covered cords and get rid of them, pop those two. And I guess I'll go ahead and summon Eidos with the additional tribute summon and tribute from my BES. And then get my three counters so I can't be destroyed. I mean, this guy's probably gonna fuck me up, but still. And then you can't summon from the extra deck, so there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I just took 3,000 for fuck why. <laughs> like, this main villain's just gonna fuck me up. Alright, you banish, search him. Like, okay. Alright, I, like I said, I have no idea what this fucking deck does, but I know. I mean, it's the main villain of that of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie with Yugi and Kaiba in the 2000 like nostalgia fucking trip. So you gotta know that Konami's gonna probably make some broke shit for that villain. <laughs> probably. All right, so you banish to search, to send, to search the. All right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Should be those two for that. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> No fucking idea. <laughs> I haven't been this lost in a deck since like DDDs. Like this man is just doing plays, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I guess I should go ahead and get uh. If you're talking about what I was gonna talk about, it, you can tell by the title of uh, that peer review though. All right. So pretty much we have this big essay that is due for. Our uh, English 102 class. I'm retaking English 102. I got a C last time, so I wanted to retake it to get a better grade. I'm like in between uh, uh, colleges, you know? Uh, well, I was at CSN going to university on the nationals. And it's just, what, gonna burn me again? And I lose. Like, what the? okay, so I guess we both take 3,000. I guess that's assuming that's what it is. Yeah, I guess during the end phase, it's like 3,000 to both fucking players. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, we get another duel, and what the fuck just happened? Be right back. What the fuck just happened, people? Like, wow, I got fucking, I got destroyed. <laughs> I got destroyed. Don't, don't lie to me. Don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> I didn't even open up that well. Like, maybe if I opened up like Monarch Stormforce, I could have attributed his shit and did that shit. But no. All right, I don't know what you're playing. Something, something. So, it's, all right, get your scarecrow, I guess. I mean. And you're not even gonna set it? Like, all right, all right. <laughs> so this essay is big. It's worth a majority of our grade, like like a huge chunk out of our grade. And uh, you need to do it properly. If you don't do it properly, you can easily fail this class. So we spent like, I'd say like at least the last month just working on this this essay. Like we, 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 we've done everything in our power to bust out the goodness when it comes to this essay, you know? What we we uh we picked our, our topic, you know, he's like select your topic, go ahead and tell me, you know, your argument and your topic. Alright, did that. Then next week, you know, uh your work cited page. Go ahead and uh uh six sources minimum. Six sources minimum. Alright, oh, that's easy. Go ahead and activate, reveal, drop to down, summon you, special summon, all that good shit. Like, 
so good. So good. Marks, so good. So, we'll go ahead and I get, we'll definitely go ahead and send you and I guess another one of you. I mean, you can never go wrong with getting now that good search. Go ahead and summon that uh, Erebus who will turn my hand, which is great. Uh, I don't really don't know what I want to reveal to search. Like, I guess I'll do it, but at this point I'm, I'm pretty content with everything I have. I guess I'll just go ahead and show you some, like, some Monarch Stone Forts, and then you'll be like, alright, take the Monarch Stone Forts and then I'll tribute you shit for the terrain next turn. Go ahead and activate that. Just make sure that you just can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, ah, yes. Yes, you guys want to stick with BES? That's fine. I'm playing Monarchs with it too. Like, the plays is there. At least I'm playing BES, you know? So, uh, I, that was simple. You know, I did my worksite page. I had six sources. I changed it between my, uh, my outline slash rough draft and the six sources, but I still had six, right? Uh, then you did your outline, you know, and, uh, he gave you a lot more time for the outline. Uh, and didn't even give you extra assignments. He gave you a lot more time for the outline. Like, if you pretty much did your outline correctly, it would form your rough draft. Like, simple as that. You know, simple as that. Uh, you can't ask for a simpler method than just outline straight to rough draft. Majority of the, the of your outline, you're just gonna just copy and paste right into your rough draft. You know, the rough draft had to be four pages. Final draft, six pages. Uh, the teacher decided to do something different, unlike other essays, where with the rough draft, uh, we went ahead and, uh, Gay uh, sent, well, he sent, he uh, sent two of rough drafts to a person to go ahead and uh, check over. No. All right, that's fine. No, that's fine. Everything is fine. I'm right, gonna hit this man with that twin twister though, and he gets blown the fuck back, boys. Like, twin twisters pop those, those two. Clear that up for me. Then I'll hit you with the Monarch Storm Force. Tribute your shit, because you think you're cute, but you're not. Some of that freaking terrain. Yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna pull him sponsor, that's the whole point. And uh, get my three counters, he's like, what the fuck is that? Yup, game! Woo, Mark, so strong, so strong. Get that gold bear back. <laughs> so, uh, my rough draft was five and a half pages, so close to my final draft, six pages, just kind of fill that out a little bit, and I'll have it done, like, that's easy. That, that's nothing, right? Uh, so I got two people's rough drafts gonna go ahead I'm, I'm prepared to at least read you know a minimum four pages and get get, get their uh, peer review that's why it's called peer review and get their essays nice and checked and prepared and ready for uh oh it's all right i'm assuming the one day i'm assuming the one day yep even though you never let your opponent draw you're still gonna grab that uh that one day which i guess is fine yep i uh, can't do any damage to you which i guess is fine <laughs> Like, there's really not too much of a threat, especially since you don't have your field spell. Like, no field spell and versus side frames? Like, ah, that's easy! Like, how do you beat side frames? Don't let them get their field spell. Like, I really don't care what you're summoning or what. Like, I really don't care. They're kind of like, an, they're, they're really just a nuisance, but without, the, without their, uh, their field spell, you know, you can easily just stop all their plays. I'll go ahead and play this. You know, stop my rudder. That kind of sucks. I kind of wanted that. Uh. Yeah, I guess I can go ahead and uh, do my Panditi. Get my. Uh... I'll probably end up twin twistering this man. Like I'll probably end up pitching my ship. Yep. So Monarch Storm Fourth. Monarch Storm Fourth. Or Monarch Stormforth. <laughs> Can you only use the effect of, uh, what's his name once per turn? I don't think so. I think he can just keep negating. I mean, it's fucking... It's fucking goodness. Alright, so... So, I can go ahead and... Activate Domain. Reveal. Tribute. All that good shit, you know. Probably end up giving rid of him, because you'll probably, you can just normal summon a tuner, even though I'm about to lock you out of the extra deck, like, that's all good. That's all good. So, you got another one? I'll go ahead and, uh, play that Monarch Storm Force, like, this duel, <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 friends. They love to negate all your plays, right? Go ahead and play him. 
Now, the scary thing is when I activate this monster effect, he'll probably be like, all right, negate your monster effect, you know? It plays for days when it comes to this deck, when it comes to negating. Anyway, I'm totally prepared to work on these people's peer review. I'm, I want you guys to do well as well. I mean, this is English Walnut too. This is one of the most important classes for community college for your freshman year. Like, you gotta pass this class. If you don't pass this class, if you don't do well in this class, uh, then you can easily fail. I'm gonna click in a rebus. I'm like, wait, why am I clicking a rebus? It's fucking, I need, I need a rebus' is level lowered. I definitely need that level lowered. All right, so I'll go ahead and just normal summon over you. Activate you. And uh, prepare your booty hole. So we'll go ahead and send that. We'll go ahead and send that. Uh, there's really nothing threat on the field, but I can pick something out of the hand. That'd be pretty power. So, yep, from the hand. Go ahead, go away. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then I'll go ahead and tackle with the delta. Like without your, I mean, you're locked out of the abstract anyway. But no driver either. No drive. Like, mmm, it struggles. Like, I'd really like to see you get out of this situation. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and set these two and uh, pass to you, sir. I, I'm good. I'm good. So, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> no fail spell. I wrecked your fucking shit. You don't play that reckless. Play the reckless, dude. That's, that's no power to you. Yeah. <laughs> play the reckless. Draw a little bit deeper. Get your one up star goblin. Hoban. Hoban. This man's hoban. That's fine. End your turn. All right. All right. So. Uh, I mean, like I said, I can go ahead and just do my OG Monarch and then summon my terrain. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and just do OG Monarch. Banish you. I don't need you anymore. Summon you, and then tribute you off for my terrain. Unless he's going to go ahead and do something. Uh, I'll flip up Vanities. He doesn't special summon, right? When your opponent normal summon special monsters while you control normal monsters, that uh, you special summon both this card from your hand and blah blah blah. Uh, uh, let's experiment. I want to see what happens when I flip up vanities. Does he just like fizzle? Yep, yep. Go back into your hand, bitch. So when a card is sent from my deck, I fill to the graveyard. So if I tribute Prime, will go to the graveyard. So don't want that. So now since I have vanities flipped up, you can't even special summon any monster. So you're just gonna take this 28 to the chin. You're not drawing in anything new, and uh, I guess we'll just sit here and wait until I beat you. Like, <laughs> as simple as that. Go ahead and end your turn. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> like, goddamn. So, still, you're still not going to be able to draw, which means you're still not going to get anything new. And then, uh, I, could, I guess I could just turn Prime to attack mode. Oh, wait, no. That's 28, 28. Yeah, you go ahead and surrender. Go ahead and surrender. Ah, it's too easy. All right, we'll get another duel. We're back. All right, another duel. So I'm expecting to be reading, you know, a minimum four pages, some good cited sources, some great essays. You know, this is the big research paper. This is what we've been, you know, working on. This is this is this is the big shebang. And what do I receive? What what? Oh, uh, I guess I'm. I mean, I might as well play terraforming. And give me. This is probably one of the worst opening hands. I've gotten a cool minute. Like, there's a lot of things that can make this hand decent, and instead I just mm. Andy made me go first. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> like, I opened up the booty. Like, if I can just get anything, Eddos, Monarch Storm Force, anything, just to reduce my... You know, I got the level reduction, I just need something to bust out these Monarchs, and I got the plays. Alright, gadgets. No surprise there. I mean, they got the Ring 4 plays for days. So, go ahead and go into those two, go into Gear Guy and X, Detach, get another search. You know? Yep, yep. So, it'd be great if I just drew into anything. <laughs> yeah. Give them goldfishes when I mean what about gold and silver gadget? What about them? <laughs> You're just seeing goldfish power right now. Mm hmm I mean this man's name is Gadgetology, so I should have probably assumed that he was gonna be playing some gadgets. That is not what I needed. That is not what I needed. My deck. I mean it's monarchs. Still monarchs! Kinda fuck me over everyone to Ether. I'm like Ether's good, but I don't need him, you know, full time like that. Drew two ethers, a rebus, two domains, fucking BES, like, where? Where's Monarch Stormforth? Where's Pantheism? Where's fucking Eidos and a rebus, Rhoda? Like, there's so many fucking cards that can get me out of this fucking situation. I'm just sitting here with nothing. Like, alright, alright. <laughs> Andy's got three back row. Like, not only that, but he can easily just fuck me up with his back row. Like, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna open up so fucking garbage that I can't even play against this guy who clearly likes that C and go to the extra deck. I'm running Monarchs, but, you know, I just, I didn't open up shit. <laughs> go ahead and go into that Gaga Samurai who will now attack twice, and I believe that is game. Like, GG, I did nothing. <laughs> G fucking G. Like, God, ugh, thank you, IGO Pro. Thank you. <laughs> You've been acting like a piece of shit all day, but uh, thank you for this wonderful hand. Yep, that's game. GG. GG, I did nothing. <laughs> wow, I wish it was that easy to beat Monarchs. I fucking rage mode and shit. Alright, we're gonna duel and bear back. So, anyway, we got finally another duel. Like, it's fucking forever to get a duel. Holy shit. Uh, hand's not terrible. It's not great either, but it's not terrible. Summoners are. Is that Metalphosis? That's yeah, Metalphosis. 60 card Metalphosis! Metalphosis, Magic Spectre! Alright, alright. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, he's gonna go ahead and broken ass Pendulum summon. Summon that unicorn and all that great shit. Wait, you're setting the unicorn as your Pendulum scale? Like, okay. Oh, never mind. You're just gonna pop the unicorn and get another. Get a sorry. Like, Metalphosis, Magic Spectres. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Metal Metalphosis can be a fine uh, Pendulum scale enabler like, for. Uh, Nedge Spectres. So I'm probably gonna end up losing this duel. Like, there, there is no doubt. Like, I'm very susceptible to back row, and you, you're able to search out back row? Like, oh, hell no. <laughs> nah, hell, hell to the nah, nah to the hell to the nah. <laughs> like, if I can lock you out of the extra deck, but I seriously doubt this play's gonna go, okay, up that, search that, then just summon all of them back, like, and Unicorn too? Like, mm mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> like it's a good enabler, eight to one. Yep, 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 yep. These two, yep, yep. That back draw a card, like sixty cards. It doesn't matter if it's sixty cards anymore. He's, he has the pendulum mechanic under his belt. He's 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 golden. He's golden. So I got like no place. Like, anything that I try, I'm gonna get fucked up, so... I might as well just try, right? Like, I'm gonna get fucked up by that unicorn. He's gonna proceed to Pendulum Summon and OTK me next turn. Like, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Eidos. Which I guess is fine. That's surprising. That's surprising. Go ahead and re reveal Rebus, and then you should go ahead and use your key to chain balance. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright. Maybe I could set this solemn warning and then hit him, hit him when he pendulum summons. That might be cool. <laughs> that might be like the best play I can do right now. <laughs> just when he pendulum summons all the monsters, just hit him with the warning. Okay. Activate combination. Wow, pop your own fusion monster. I didn't think you were going to do that. I guess he's assuming that he's got to make more, so he's like, fuck it, I don't care. Oh. <coughs> counter. Yep. I'm from the deck. Another counter. Someone from the deck. Like, alright. Alright, sunny boy. <laughs> anyway. The peer review. I got the two essays that I got from peer review were, like, some of the worst essays. Like, I don't know these people personally. I'm not giving away their names or anything along those lines. But they had some of the worst, the worst essays I have read in a cool fucking minute like it's like they didn't even try like they did like they don't even understand the concept of what is going on with this you know okay like you summon him and then you pop him and then you get and then you fuse and then you get and then you pop and then you get and you fuse and you pop oh great pop my solemn warning oh thank you thank you i needed that that would have worked so fucking well i would have hit him with the warning now i'm dead now i'm fucking dead now i get jumped now i'm dead <laughs> I was gonna use that warning! Look at that! I would've warning the shit out of him, boy! That's game. That's game. Like, oh my god. Look at that. Pendulum mechanic! Ladies and gentlemen, pendulum mechanic. Broken as fuck. Look at that duel. Bear back. Ugh. <laughs> These BESs are not helping. Like, they're cute, <laughs> but they really aren't helping at, at, at times. Alright. Is it just Denklaw dot deck? Yep, it's Denklaw dot deck, people. Uh, how come whenever I duel this deck, they always open up first turn summoner monk? Like, I've never seen a deck open up first turn summoner monk more than this fucking deck. It's like, it's like, it's like you see summoner monk and it's like, alright, Denklaw. Like, you would think, like, hmm, maybe we'll go ahead and, uh, see, 
uh, you know, something that's different. Maybe like Dark Magician, something like, nah, just don't call that deck. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> so I can go ahead and just tribute this shit and activate Monarch Stormforth. It doesn't matter if you chain going to Dark Wall. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna get tributed. So either way, you're fucked. Which is fine for me. It's totally fine for me. You still get that search, so you're still good. You're still good. You're gonna get the bubbly. You're gonna try to hit me with that acid, though. I mean, my opponent's like, "What the fuck are you playing?" Like, I'm playing them BESs, though. Like, what do you know about that BES, boy? Yep. Automatically move a counter. And I think I might go ahead and move another counter just to pop some back row. Like, pop that middle one. Is it not strange? Ah, oh, it is. It is. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, set this Solemn Strike, and then that's it. That's all I got. One door I open up with a butt ton of Monarchs, no Tributors. The other one I open up with a whole bunch of Tributors, no Monarchs. Like, alright. Alright. Damn! This is where I was like, draw MST? <laughs> Damn! Damn! And then here comes Dark Claw. Alright. Alright. No? Oh, right, right. I popped your mass change. That's right. That's right. So we're just gonna see a rank 4 play. Yep, I mean, I'm very susceptible to rank 4s. I can't stop that. You can't stop the Castell. <laughs> Damn. I'm gone. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm, I'm gone. I disappeared from existence. Like, these essays are, like, terrible. Like, one, one was, like, two pages long. Keep in mind, four pages long. Rough draft. Four pages long. And, uh, yep, yep. Emergency call. Another Bubble Man. Yep, and this is the reason why Bubble Man got hit in the OCD. Shit like this. Shit like this. Just... Special Summon Bubble Man, search for Bubble Man, search for Summon Bubble Man, search for Bubble Man, Special Summon Bubble Man, like, stop with the fucking Bubble Man. Holy fuck. Like, this is fucking just Bubble Man's too much, man. <laughs> well, there goes 6,000 wildlife life points, thank you, because of fucking draw Bubble Man, Special Summon Bubble Man, search for Bubble Man, Special Summon Bubble Man, search for Bubble Man, Special Summon Bubble Man, like, fucking stop. <laughs> Let me draw into a Monarch or a BS. Alright, I got a BS, that's cool, so. Uh... I said I really don't have anything. So I guess I'll go ahead and summon Eidos. Get his effect. So I'll get another Trishu summon. Monarch Storm Force. I'm tribute your shit again. Tribute your, your shit, my shit. Or my BES cover. Awesome. So we're still in this duel, boys. We're still in this duel. We'll go ahead and attack. So I flip a coin. I guess I'll call the Tails. It was Tails, so I keep all my counters. Cool. Not that they really matter, and this mine can just bust out a Castell with ease, but might be okay. And then he top decks Soul Charge, right? Soul Charge. Soul Charge. Go ahead. Soul Charge. Soul Charge. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, four pages, rough draft, six sources, right? Ah, Hero Lives, Hero Lives, yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Of course, of course that's what she had set, you know? Thing. I got rid of every other thing that you had in this entire duel, but no, of the, course the that's what you have said. So, I'm assuming just turn into a fucking, uh, Ankh right now. And I have nothing for that. Yep, you know, I have nothing for that. So I'm glad that you just opened up everything. Like, holy shit, at least you didn't open up a back row. Banquo? Really? Banquo. You must be really confident in that set card. Ah, ah, what a top deck. Ah, now I top deck. Fucking March of the Monarchs. Like, Tribute Monsters can't beat... Targeted the arc. Okay, never mind. It was just another MST, which is fine because I could just attack over you. Like, why'd you go into Dark Law? Like, you should have went into Ankh. Like, no, no, I'm not gonna lose this shit over stupidity. I'll call heads this time. It was heads. Yeah, keep all my counters, boys. <laughs> like, wow, it was just another MST. <laughs> hero lives. <laughs> oh wow, you didn't have another hero lives. Cool, and that's game. I win because I can just go ahead and summon idea. Idea summon Eidos. Should be both of you for Ether. And uh, not only that, but get my march back too. That's power. That's power, people. That's power. Yes. Yes. So give me give me back my fucking uh, give me back my march. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Alright, let me let me have to start. So four pages, six sources. First I say two pages, so that's already terrible. And the teacher's not fucking around. He straight up said for every page that you don't have complete, he wants six full pages. Not not like five pages and you're on your sixth page a little bit. Like, no. Six full pages. For every page that's not fully done, you will lose a six of your grade. 
So he's not fucking around. So two pages, was like a 33%, like good job, that's enough, you know? Uh, only one source, no work slide at page, hella plagiarized, so that would probably result in a zero. And just overall, not a great essay. Like the topic was fine. What if the topic was about like, you know, animals, you know, PETA and all that great stuff, which is interesting. They were talking about, you know, testing on animals and injuring animals, but they didn't mention not once fucking PETA in the essay, which is amazing. You know, it's like, okay. Uh, only one source, not cited. I'm like, I was like, I did all the corrections I could. I mean, I can't redo your entire essay for you. So the mistakes that you did make, I corrected them. And I just gave him like a, I gave him a paragraph at the bottom. Like you, at this point, you're probably going to fail. You have two weeks to get your final draft out. And if you don't, you're going to fail this class. Like you, this is, this is not, this is not even close. The other essay was three pages long, so it's a little bit better. I mean, still, that's an F, but uh, only one source, no work cited page. <laughs> it's just like, have you guys not been paying attention at all to what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks? Like, nah, nah, fuck that, fuck that. It's like actually trying to pass English 102. It's not like I need to pass it. Oh, wait, I do. Uh, only one source, not cited, of course, so that's plagiarism. And uh, the majority of his essay, keep in mind, this is a research paper, as in create an argument and then present evidence to back up your argument, a research paper. The majority of his essay was a personal anecdote. Yep, it was it was telling a story. It was about medication, and he started telling a personal story about his girlfriend's mom and medication and all that. Like, oh, that's nice, but yeah, this is a research paper. Maybe if you were doing a, a personal narrative, then sure, but this? No. So... Uh, I was just, I was like, wow, you could just go ahead and take like all of this out, delete that, and if you deleted all the all of his uh his uh personal stuff that that's not even supposed to be in there, he drops down to like one page of research. It's like, all right, all right. So, uh, you too, you too. I mean, I don't mean to be harsh on you guys, but I want you guys to pass. Like, I don't want you guys to have to take English one or two again. I'm taking it again, and I gotta see. I passed before but i just wanted a better grade y'all are looking to get an f and you need to pass this class like i don't think there's any any freaking uh uh major that you can go with or anything like even basics that you can go without without taking and passing english 102 like it is like the core of core classes you take english 101 you take english 102 and you guys are just not doing it so good luck you guys got two weeks to turn that mess into a functionable six page full research paper or you are going to fail this class uh, at least mine's fine my person that checked mine was like besides a co couple of grammar characters because i didn't proofread mine because i was like fuck it that's your job so you proofread it and then they did they didn't they said you got a couple of grammar characters but didn't even point out the grammar characters thanks and then they were like they put one thing and they're like oh you don't need a separate paragraph here and i was like that's not a separate paragraph that's a plot quote so all right cool so uh i just gotta flesh out my essay i'll probably go ahead and put some more details maybe flesh out uh, more information because I, I wrote about I think I would probably talked about it but I wrote about like the fa founding fathers of first, uh, against slavery you know George Washington uh, Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton but in my essay it just assumes that you know who these men are and I just jump right into my argument you know so to fill out you know that last page of my essay I can easily just throw in like a little bit of history about these men you know these founding fathers so that's easy that's easy uh, then go down to the writing center, maybe one or two times, get that checked over, turn it in, you know, it's easy. Also, we also have to do a project about it, so, got to do like a PowerPoint about slavery and presidents. Ooh, interesting, not really, but we're not presenting it, you know, but you still got to do it and turn it in, so that's fine. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the peer review, and besides that, life is going okay. Uh, tried a new card game with Renny and, and friends <laughs> that you, you probably don't know. Called, what's it called? Weiss, Weiss Shorts? Weiss Shorts like an anime card game, you know? Like, okay. It, it, it's okay. You know, it's not as complicated as Yu-Gi-Oh, but it has its ups and its downs, just like Yu-Gi-Oh, but you know, I'm not cheating on Yu-Gi-Oh or anything. <laughs> I just wanted to play it so we could have something to play. Uh, about to start university soon, you know? Uh, this semester at community college is about to end my uh, my first uh class at uh, university is about to begin so uh, it's gonna be turboing through getting through eventually to become that math teacher that i've been trying to become so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of daily duels of course i'll be back tomorrow we're gonna be playing them dragoonities joined uh, by i don't know yet and uh yeah so anyway thanks for watching